hello guys welcome again to my channel in this video i'm going to quickly introduce two most incredible ai coding assistant if you're new to my channel please make sure to subscribe and hit the like button for this video also turn on the notification that means a lot to me and that is a great support for my channel it motivates me to make more awesome videos like this so without further ado let's see what are these tools and what are some of the features they offer and how we can use it uh, i can guarantee that using this tool they can improve your uh, productivity by 100 percent so they are like a secret weapon for your coding and you can write if you're writing like 100 200 lines of code in one day now you can write a thousand two thousand lines of code in a single day so with further ado let, let me just quickly introduce them as you can see uh, on the screen on the left i have tab 9 uh, which is kind of the the first ai coding assistant so um, you can use it for free for 14 days um, the, the greatest advantage of tab 9 is that you can install it locally on your server if you are um, if you want to use it for your company so there is no privacy issue with the tab 9 your code will be um, uh, within your own domain and it will never get out of uh, out of your domain and on the right side we have uh, github copilot that this is also an amazing uh, coding assistant as you can see on the screen so uh, you can just write a few lines of comment and then the github copilot will suggest you how to write the code uh, we're going to use it uh, for with, with PyCharm and a code in Python but they support a variety of languages including C++ I've been using it uh, with C++ back in at work I've been using it for Python I've been uh, I used it for JavaScript Java and and I can tell you they're one of the best I have ever used so highly recommend it try to use it and then if you know any better tool just write it in the comment below i'm gonna check it out and we'll see if if it works for the great uh, greater audience uh, i'm gonna uh, make a video to review that for for the good of others as well let me just um close this all right let me just open PyCharm. So so I'm gonna write this. So if you want to install Tab9 or uh, GitHub Copilot, just go to the setting of um, your IDE. You will have this plugins. And then since I have installed, I have it installed. If you, if you haven't, just write in here, uh, GitHub Copilot, and you'll have it on the first spot. And you can write tab nine something like this. Um, yep, this is the tab nine. And since I have it installed, um, I don't need to install it again. Let me just give you a quick example how this works now. First, I'm going to disable this, disable completion, and now I'm going to write a comment in here, writing a function to sum up, uh, to sum up numbers from, um, to sum up uh, numbers from 1 to 10. Now, you see, I have got no suggestion while writing this, and when I enter, there is nothing. Uh, I have to define my function. And then I have to pass a parameter numbers and then I got to do everything like by myself. So I can number and if it's a list, I'm going to get one number after another and then I'm going to return the total. So that took me a lot of time. Now let's just do this with GitHub Copilot. Let's, let me just delete that quickly, enable and now I'm going to write writing write a function that takes a list of numbers and return the sum of 
sum of it. All right, write a function that takes a list of numbers and returns the sum. That's it, that's what I want. That returns the sum. There we go, sum list. This is suggested by um, GitHub Copilot. Look at that, isn't that amazing? Total, we have these numbers, perfect coding, everything is super nice. And if you wanna test it, um, you can just write a test program for this. So let me just write a, um, I'm gonna say if name equals to, look at that, wow. So you got all these um, suggestions from GitHub Copilot. It's just fantastic, works absolutely perfect. So if I wanna uh, give it case two, then it, it automatically understands what I want. Look at that. This is called context-based suggestion. It reads your context and then um, based on that, it, it just gives you a suggestion. It, the, the GitHub Copilot quickly uh, read this uh, comment and then give me the suggestion. So, yep, there we go. Now, uh, before it took me like around one to two minutes to write this. Now, this is very easy, of course, if you want to write a very complicated function or um, uh, a list of like like a full program. So that, that will sometimes take a lot of time to to find simple thing and then copy and paste them or you have to think about them and then write it. So no need for those hustle and bustles anymore. Just uh, install GitHub Copilot uh, and then use it. Boom. Let me just uh, go for a bit of advanced example using GitHub Copilot and then we see how tab 9 will work for these same examples. So in this example, I'm going to train a neural network, classify, um, let's say, Cepha 10 images. Um, I'm going to use PyTorch. Perfect. So the steps will be let me just write it like this step one uh, load and normalize the CFA 10 training and test that is it using torch version perfect that's what i wanted define a convolution neural network perfect define a loss function perfect just uh, hit enter and tab that's it train the network on the training data test the network perfect that's what i want that's exactly what i want now import torch import torch vision torch vision transform Look at that, isn't that great? Wow, I mean, this is absolutely a game changer for those who are writing code. So highly recommend it guys, just use it and uh, let me know what, you, what do you think about it. There we go, look at that. And there is no root, we're gonna download it. So I'm gonna um, download this data. Um, and if you come and check uh, here, uh, Cepha 10, iTorch classification, Cepha 10, data set, train a classifier. Now, this is the, the data set I'm talking about. This is the Cepha 10 data set. Uh, probably most of you who have uh, a bit of computer vision background knows about that, about this. But those of you who don't know, uh, this is the, the simplest data, uh, RGB data that you can train a classifier, uh, how to train a network. So these are the steps basically we are following in here. So the next step I'm going to do is to do a transformation. I'm going to copy this and here, here, this is something I want to do. So I'm going to come back and then paste this in here quickly. All right, now we're we're sort of um, kind of like a guiding the the GitHub Copilot to basically understand um, uh, where are we heading. So it, it, it now understands what, what do we want. class um, I mean this is this is absolutely fantastic so we have all these classes if I come back in here and look at this it's it's absolutely correct 
look at these classes we have airplane automobile bird cat deer dog frog horse ship truck and so on and then we have all the, these classes in here as well so let me just move on let's see how the github copilot can help um i'm gonna say show some of the training images for fun i'm gonna import that and then import numpy and then we have this function look at that wow um get some branding training example there we go we have image and then we use that i mean these the code that you're seeing right now they're working perfectly fine so show images there we go we pass the prompt prompt to, to i'm show function and then we can print the labels here there we go and then we can define a convolution neural network perfect there we go plus neural network perfect all right then we have the super function kernel and it that's it look at that we even created an instance of the network as well so that we can pass our image if and if i want to um, define a training uh, define uh, a loss function and optimizer it, it just gives you that so i can say it loss function there we go and then optimizer Perf perfect let me just run this because um you you can you can play around with that more and then i want to see whether it's really working or not look at that files already downloaded the code actually works perfectly fine if you get this code and compare it with what is available online in here you see that it's 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 amazing it just gives you everything that you need to train a neural network so yeah i mean this is github copilot now let's see how tab 9 will work one is good so uh, let me just quickly write uh, write a function now this this suggestion comes from tab 9 uh, write a function that sum a list of perfect a list of numbers there we go I'm gonna do define sum now this is coming from tab 9 not bad um, I'm gonna say numbers all right um, there we go so as you can see in this situation tab 9 doesn't really work well while github copilot could give you a complete uh, complete list tab 9 count so let me just write here my own code a bit not bad all right and then i'm gonna say now this is coming from tab 9 i would say it's not bad all right it's coming from numbers and since it is a list i think it's a problem so yeah and then i'm gonna write um write a driver program or a program to test this and i'm gonna do this not bad pretty good so list of list of of numbers right this is tab nine so not bad uh, and then i'm gonna say print some of these numbers now i'm gonna run it all right so it's working tab nine is also a perfect tool you can use it but to to my understanding it's not as great as github copilot well this is an honest review hopefully the tab 9 team will not get upset with my comment hopefully they work more to improve it a little bit but um yeah so let me just give another uh, uh, test case um case test case two and then list of numbers 11 no nope. 12 no let me just misguide a little bit not bad all right stop numbers again um let's see this yeah so uh, i say it's good 
um, but in this case um, for this battle I would say github copilot won the battle so let me just give you another example the same procedure that we want to train a neural network now we're gonna do it with the tab 9 vision torch vision um, well as you can see um, it, it's not as great as github copilot now I'm, I'm not gonna move more uh, I'm not gonna move forward with this but you get the idea which one is uh, good but um, let me tell you in, in terms of privacy I believe top 9 is still the best like it it doesn't read your code so that's why it does not understand what what where are you heading toward but 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 the more code you write it can the model since it's locally uh if you install it locally and on your server it will get improved by the time and uh, since we are using it um internally in terms of privacy i would highly suggest top nine to use but for um, some personal use or for training purpose, you can use GitHub Copilot um, since there's uh, still a concern for privacy with GitHub Copilot. Um, so yeah, that's uh, my suggestion for, uh, for these two incredible AI coding assistants. Um, highly recommended. I believe there are a lot more, but these are the two that I have been using it and this was my knowledge to share with you guys. Hopefully you enjoy this video and hopeful, um, I'm hopeful that uh, it helps you with your coding. So if you have anything uh, in your mind, any suggestion, any comment, any objection, please feel free to write it down below in the comment section. I come and read it. And if you have any technology you want me to review it, just write it down below in the comment. Uh, I'm going to check it and I'll see if it is uh, yeah, for the good of the greater audience. So thank you so much for, for your time. And uh, once again, please make sure to subscribe if you are new to my channel. Hit the like button and turn on the notification for more awesome videos. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.